Welcome back to Training Tuesday. It's been a few weeks. Uh, I've been away, um, but we're back. And it is today, October 1st. Jeez, October already. Um, Tuesday morning, 11.30. And uh, today we're gonna talk about the newest feature that we've added to Entreport, uh, a deceptively powerful one um, called Global Blocks. It's part of the page builder. And uh, I just want to talk about why we built this thing, uh, how to use it, and give you some ideas of what you might do with it, and, uh, and where you'll see this going next. Um, so uh, looking at the, uh, at the page builder, which you guys are all familiar with now, I think it's been a while since we released this thing. Maybe, gosh, I want to say, when did we release this thing? It was over a year ago, right? Anyway. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, it's been a very successful part of the platform, one of our, our best releases in a long time. Uh, uh, tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of pages have been built with this tool now, um, and for good reason. It's a very powerful, easy to use uh, tool. But uh, including, for example, just about every single page uh, on the Entreport, on all of Entreport's uh, platforms, uh, Entreport.com, and uh, and all of our landing pages and you know our training sites and kind of on and on. These pages are all built with Entreport uh, pages. And, uh, and you know one of the things that you notice when you begin to have a bunch of these pages is that it would be nice to be able to have sort of global control over certain elements of the page like you would have with a full-on website builder, right? So if you are used to WordPress, you might be used to concepts like themes where with in one kind of centralized place you can change the the colors or the fonts or the you know the css of all the pages on your site all all in one place and and that's just not a concept that comes with your traditional landing page builder right each page is a standalone page and you can certainly make pages that link together through a form or through a button or whatever, um, as we have with Entreport.com. But the reality is, is that if you change the font on one page, it doesn't change the font on other pages. And if you, um, you know, you do something like we did earlier this year and have a logo change, um, boy, you have a lot of work cut out for you because you got to go find every single logo that you've got on every single page and uh, update it manually and we had not just a logo change we had a logo change and some some color changes the entreport blue got to be i think a little bit different and uh and you know the the related colors all got to be different and the fonts got to be different and so these changes um were you know a big project for our marketing team who had to go through page after page after page and uh and update that um so you know, again, if you have been using Entreport Pages a while and you've used it a little bit more like we do, which is to create larger websites instead of single pages, then you probably are already familiar with this problem. Um, maybe some of you haven't thought of using Entreport Pages as a website builder. That's understandable because there are some uh, some elements to to a traditional website builder that are missing from uh, you know what you know, a landing page builder like, like Entreport Pages. You don't have things like um, themes in a landing page builder. You don't have um, things like, you know, global navigation or site-wide uh, code management. Um, but because of the success of Entreport Pages and because of our continued goal to make getting set up and running your business simpler and quicker, um, we're going to continue to invest in Entreport Pages until it is a full-blown uh, page builder, sorry, full-blown web builder along the lines of something like a, uh, a WordPress or a Squarespace, right? Um, certainly the page editing functionality is already there. That's uh, been proven and effective. Um, it's now a matter of kind of those, those more site-wide features that you know you wouldn't want in a, in a competitive landing page product. So um, Global Blocks is our first hack at that kind of set of features that separates this landing page builder from being a full-blown uh, website builder. And, uh, and it's a useful one. So as you know, the, the way that Entreport Pages works is that there is, um, there are some page-wide uh, 
you know, settings, but a lot of what happens on the page is handled on a block by block basis. So you can obviously drag elements into a block and then you can click into the settings of a block and manage the background facing and, and where it displays and, and the rows and columns and all that uh, on a block block by block basis, you can reorder blocks. And what we've decided to do in terms of making it possible to reuse um, content on a page is to do that at the block level. So what we made is this new, fu new functionality, a new concept called global blocks. And, uh, and they're just what it sounds like. They're a, um, a block that you can, uh, that exists separately from any particular page and you can place it on a page and, um, and then it will live on that page. Uh, but then when you go to edit that block, that global block, um, it will update every page that um, that block exists on. So for example, if you have a, a logo uh, at the top of your pages or a footer at the bottom of your pages, it will make really good sense to make those into global blocks so that down the road, if you have changes to your colors or your logo, or you have a new link to your legal page, or you wanna add a new um, item to your footer navigation, whatever it might be, you can do that one time on the global block and it'll be reflected across all pages where that footer exists um, on all of your Entreport pages. So, very cool functionality. Let's dive in to the editor and see how this works. I'll show you how to create a global block how to uh, make sure it's added to your pages, and then um, how to edit it, and then how to remove it. So, um, and then it should, be, it should be pretty simple from there. So here is just a random page that I pulled up. Um, it's got a couple of blocks here that seem like they would be obvious to use as um, global blocks. In fact, um, you know, several of these blocks might be useful as global blocks. This, this particular page is, um, you know, probably pitching, I don't know what this is, this is obviously a, um, a template page, but, you know, maybe it's pitching an ebook or a particular offer, but a lot of this stuff is, is content that you might want to reuse over and over again on various pages. For example, this, uh, this set of logos here, or sorry, this is awards um, that we have here. These, um, these awards, you know, might change down the road and you might want to use that block over and over again. In the past, you could always use the block again by just clicking here and, uh, and favoriting it. You see that it says block added to favorites. And so uh, when we did that, you would be able to add the block and then go to your favorites and you would see that um, that block is now probably the bottom one on the favorites list. Got a lot of this on my demo account here. So here's my um, my favorites block. I can just click on there and add it again, and I can you know re-add that on any page I want. And so that's one way to kind of reuse content. But Global Blocks takes it another level, um, and that is uh, it makes it possible to then edit it. Say you get a new award and you want to add it to this to this content, or say um, you wanted to you know change the the uh, the quote here, the testimonial, I presume it is. Certainly for your footer, um, you know, your logo, maybe for your header, these things um, should definitely be global blocks uh, because these things are the stuff that changes over time. So, um, so how does it work? You, uh, like you know, normal, you would just create your block as, as this one has been made here by dragging elements onto the page and editing them to your liking. And then you click into to, uh, to this block edit mode and uh, what you'll see is a new button up here and it looks like a little globe and it when you hover over it it even says make global block and um, so all you got to do is click on that sucker and it will tell you what's going to happen uh, it'll ask you convert to global block and then it tells you global blocks are special blocks that look and function the same everywhere you add them and any changes you make are immediately updated everywhere they live all right, that sounds good. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert this block and it's gonna create that global block. Uh, down here you'll see the global block was converted, the Entreport page was saved, and, uh, and now we're looking at um, a, the global block. So this is now the global block living um, in a separate place from, uh, from, from the page that it was originally on. So, 
if you think about the way OntoPages works, we've got the concept of, of creating a page and then saving a page and then a separate concept of publishing the page, right? And the reason we have those separate concepts is because we want you to be able to edit your pages uh, without having your changes immediately go live. We, want to, we have this, um, we have this uh, auto save functionality so that every, I don't know what it is, maybe every minute, um, the, your page is automatically saved, but we don't want to save your page in progress. So we're going to save it, um, but then before your changes go live, you need to publish your changes, right? So you're all familiar with that. Um, now that concept extends to your global block. So you'll be able to make changes to this block uh, without publishing them. And when you publish them, that will become the live version of the page and, or sorry, of the, of the block. And those, those changes will propagate to everywhere that that block lives. So um, we're now editing this block and let's just say I wanted to create a um, you know, new item here. Um, I could save that and it says, as it always does, um, publish changes. Do you want to publish those now? I'll do that in just a second. You can also click here. There's a new button here that says, um, shows you the pages that this block lives on. So you, you know when you're editing the block that this is on you know, 42 different pages or, or, or no pages or whatever it might be. And you can actually click over to those um, and let's see what happens. Yeah, it opens in a new window, which is nice. So you can click and, and take a look at the pages where that thing lives. I'm not going to worry about that now. Um, so now I'm going to publish this sucker. Um, publish changes to one page. Your publishes will be saved here, but they will not display on the page until you publish it. Do you want to publish now? Yes. So this thing only lives on one page, but it, if it was on 32 pages, it would say publish changes to 32 pages there. So I publish those changes. And then to get back to my page, I just click the back button. Um, uh, I, uh, I messed with myself because I opened that page in a, in a separate window there. Um, so let's just let this thing uh, manage itself, confuse the system by opening the page twice in the same browser. Uh, all right. Yes, shouldn't take longer than a minute. Let's we'll have a sip of coffee while we wait for this to occur. And we'll get tired of waiting for this in about one second. And I'm going to hit refresh and see what happens then. Um, oh, geez. OK, close the landing page. Untitled. Yeah, we're going to have to save this sucker. There we go. Um, OK, so now we can see that the new item was added at the bottom of this, uh, this thing. And you'll also notice that um, when we hover over this thing, we see something new. It uh, used to be, like in all these other blocks, when you hover over a block, you, you see the individual elements and you can kind of edit the individual elements. That is no longer the case with this particular block because it is a global block. So you can't edit it here anymore. If you want to edit it, you're going to click on Edit Global Block and it's going to take you over to that other screen where you're just working on this particular block and and uh, and uh, and then you'll save it. And we'll let's just show let's just show how that works. Um, okay, um, I really confuse the situation here by um, by opening a new window. I guess we're gonna have to look at why that is, and also why this is so short. Um, Let us see here. I just really opened up a can of worms here by, by uh, opening up a new tab. Here we go. Um, great. So now we have uh, this block. Again, we can make changes to this logo. I could now, now we're in like the normal edit mode that we're used to, right? And I can um, you know, edit this, this uh, text or whatever. Logo goes here and publish those changes. I'm not going to bother with that. Then I go back and uh, I don't want to save those. OK, great. <clears throat> so um, you'll also notice that when you go to create a new page um, or say an add a new block to a page, 
See, I want to add a block here. Um, it loads up my blocks. We have a new thing. We had the favorites before, and now we have this thing called global blocks. And you click on this sucker, and there is the global block. View pages where this block appears. Again, I can see uh, all the pages this thing's on. I can delete it. Let's see what happens. Um, this global block, this is serious, right? This global block is used on one page. Deleting the block will remove it from all the linked pages. This can't be undone. So be when we have these very serious uh, delete moments, we make you type D-E-L-E-T-E, -E, and then you can delete the block. We're not gonna do that right now. Um, but then, of course, if I just click on it, I will add this global block to the page, and now this thing lives on the page twice. That would be weird, but um, eh, not necessarily. You can do whatever you want. Now, there's another button here you'll notice. Oh, just uh, incidentally, uh, if I click edit here, that's going to do the same thing that this button does. It'll take me to the global block uh, editor. I can move this block around um, up and down on the page. I can delete it from this page. Um, this is only used on this page. Would you like to remove it from this page only? If it were on more pages, I believe that it would give you an option to, to, um, to uh, remove it from all the pages. Um, and then I can detach global block. Well, what does that mean? Do, this says this block will become a standalone instances, uh, instance and changes will no longer be synced with the global block. So what that's going to do is going gonna, is gonna to copy this uh, block to a normal block and make it into a normal block so that future changes to the global block won't uh, be reflected here. So let's just try that out and see what happens. I just did it and now lo and behold uh, I'm back to like a normal block where I can edit the um, I can edit the each individual element as I normally would. The one down here is still a global block and so so there we have it. Okay, so hopefully that makes pretty good sense. Um, it makes pretty good sense to me. Um, if it were me, I would probably go through and I would um, I would just take my stuff like my headers, I'd make it a global block. I'd go through my footers, make it a global block. I might make global blocks for um, things like individual offers, forms that I want to use all over the place, uh, things like, you know, logo, um, you know, logos or testimonials or, uh, or awards like this that uh, show my stuff off. Even maybe, um, you know, feature descriptions. Um, if, you know, you're going to have multiple pages maybe that, that um, describe the same set of features and maybe you have an update to those features and down the road you want to, um, you want to update those in one place. Uh, could be useful. So think about using global blocks um, a lot. You know, they're going to be a, a really useful feature. Um, so that is, God, is that the long and the short of it? I think it might be. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah. Oh, just throwing it out there. Um, uh, uh, another way to use a global block, I can create a, create a block. Um, and I can just throw an H, some HTML in here. Um, uh, and I could put um, my, you know, Google scripts or tracking scripts, anything that I want in the body of the, um, of the page. This would end up at the top of the body. You could put it at the bottom of the page. It would be right below the, the last body tag. Um, and then you could use that as a global block so that if you have a change to those scripts, um, then that will uh, be reflected across all pages all at once. That'd be pretty handy. Note that you won't be able to share pages in the marketplace that have code in them just for the same reason that we don't let you do that um, already. Um, let's see, what else do you need to know about this? I think that that is um, probably the long and short of it. Um, as I said, this is you know one step towards making this a full-blown page editor. The next step that we're, um, that we're working on now, which uh, I have mentioned in the past, in our Facebook group is um, to make this, uh, make membership site functionality available uh, on Entreport pages. That's going to be a very big step towards making a full uh, functional website, uh, again, towards really streamlining the process of, of setting up uh, your business in Entreport. Of course, anybody who has done uh, a setup of uh, WordPress and PilotPress and to create a membership site through there, you'll know that it's a very powerful and effective set of functionality, but it's also complicated. And uh, so uh, in our mission to make all this a lot faster and easier, we're going to continue to move that forward. And, and clearly, if you're going to begin to create 
full sites, like a membership site, it's gonna be important to have functionality like global blocks, which is why we did that first. Uh, down the road, we'll continue to push forward on this and uh, start looking at things like site-wide you know, theming, colors and fonts, uh, site-wide code management. So if you wanna put code, not just in the body, but in the header or footer of a page, that'll be possible. Uh, things like navigation, and uh, then we'll pretty much have a, um, a uh, full on page builder out of this thing, or sorry, website builder. So that's uh, the long-term plan for, for this functionality. Um, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this, uh, this new set of functionality. It was quite a project. I think it was uh, six months or more that it took us to, to um, knock this piece out. Um, but it's gonna be really useful. I know our team's already putting it to use on our pages because they've had enough of um, fixing pages one by one. So. Um, continue the discussion in the group and uh, thanks for joining us if you did we'll see you next week uh, and hopefully we'll see you in a couple of weeks or so almost three weeks at uh, Entrepalooza which is happening on campus here on what the 16th I think something like uh, let's just see Entra um, Entrepalooza is, um, when is that? Entrepalooza is the 9th through 11th. It is coming right up, my goodness. Uh, next week, we'll see you in, uh, in, uh, in Santa Barbara. Holy smokes. Um, talk to you then, thanks a lot.